Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a secure palace this evening in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs and National Security Advisor His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the heads of diplomatic missions accredited to the Kingdom. They convey to His Majesty the greetings of their leaders of their countries and the best wishes marking the holy month of Ramadan, wishing His Majesty the King abundant health and for Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity. They also express their appreciation to the pioneering efforts of His Majesty the King in enhancing relations between Bahrain and their countries, in addition to broadening horizons of cooperation. His Majesty the King praised the close and distinguished bilateral relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and their countries and the high level it has reached in all fields. His Majesty expressed his appreciation for the good efforts that the ambassadors continue to make to advance the paths of cooperation, coordination and constructive joint action between Bahrain and the brotherly and friendly countries in a way that contributes to the promotion of mutual interests. His Majesty affirmed the Kingdom's firm approach to expanding its relations with various countries of the world according to the principles of trust, understanding and mutual respect and building bridges of cooperation, acquaintance and dialogue between cultures and civilizations. His Majesty the King asserted that the holy month of Ramadan bolsters values of brotherhood, solidarity and cohesion among all and emphasizes principles of tolerance and teachings of Islam.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, received at Sakir Palace yesterday evening in the presence of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, BDF Commander in Chief at Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa the Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the National Intelligence Agency Chief Adel bin Khalifa Al Fadl, senior officers from the BDF, the National Guard, the Interior Ministry and National Intelligence Agency. They congratulated His Majesty the King on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan and wished him continued health and happiness and wished the Kingdom of Bahrain and its loyal people further security, stability, progress and prosperity under his wise leadership. His Majesty exchanged congratulations and good wishes, taking pride in the affiliates of the BDF, National Guard, Interior Ministry and National Intelligence Agency for the dedicated efforts to protect national unity, enforce the law and defend the achievements of the homeland. His Majesty commended the coordination and cooperation between the BDF, National Guard and all other security agencies, affirming that Bahrain would remain united and resolve to further development to maintain security. During the meeting, Commander of the Royal Bahraini Air Force, Air Major General Staff Pilot Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa handed His Majesty the King, a Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, a certificate of receiving the Kingdom of Bahrain's first combat aircraft of the type F-16 Block 70, which is the first country in the world receives this type and is one of the most advanced combat aircraft in the world. His Majesty affirmed his keenness to continue strengthening the aviation system of the Royal Bahraini Air Force and providing it with the latest weapons and advanced equipment within the plans to develop various weapons of the Bahrain Defence Force. His Majesty extended his greetings to all brave Bahraini servicemen in the Kingdom and abroad, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the fallen servicemen of the nation and rest their souls in eternal paradise. In appreciation of the humanitarian stances of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, a street was launched in the city of El Bastan in Karam and Maras Governorate in Turkey, under the name King of Bahrain Street. Representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that this appreciation deserved by the Republic of Turkey comes in appreciation of the efforts of His Majesty the King and his directives to provide support to those affected by the earthquake. His Highness appreciated the great support that the Foundation enjoys from the government, headed by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, Dr Mustafa Al Said, affirmed that this appreciation from Turkey comes as a tribute to the great humanitarian efforts that His Majesty is doing to serve brothers in the afflicted and various circumstances. The President of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Dr. Arif Alvi, a decorated commander of the National Guard, a General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, with the Order of Excellence in Nishan Al Imtiaz, in an official ceremony held in the Pakistani Presidential Palace in the capital Islamabad to honour a group of senior Pakistani army commanders on the occasion of the celebrations of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan on the Pakistan Day was attended by ministers, officials and senior commanders of the Pakistani Army, led by Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the Pakistani Armed Forces, General Shahar Samdad Mirza, and Chief of Staff of the Pakistani Army and Commander of the Pakistani Army, General Azim Munir. An official statement issued by the Presidential Palace 
said that the Pakistani president awarded this high military medal to the commander of the National Guard, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, in appreciation of his distinguished efforts in strengthening brotherly relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, especially in the military field. Honourable President is now requested to please confer the awards of Nishan e Imtiaz Military upon General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salam Al Khalifa, Commander of Bahrain National Guard, Kingdom of Bahrain, and Hilal e Imtiaz Military upon Major General Awad bin Abdullah Al Zairani, Defence Attaché of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in Pakistan. I now request General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, Commander of Bahrain National Guard, to please come forward. Ladies and gentlemen, General Officer is a graduate of Command General Navy Staff College, USA. During his outstanding military career, he has served as Assistant Commander of Rifa Ship, Operation Officer Bahrain Royal Navy Force, Staff Operation Officer Bahrain Navy Force, and Chief of Bahrain Football Union. In appreciation of his operational and staff assignments in different ranks of Kingdom of Bahrain, he was appointed as Commander of Bahrain National Guard in January 1997. Ladies and gentlemen. General is a sincere and close brother of Pakistan. He has played a prominent role in promoting and strengthening defence relations between the armed forces of both brotherly countries. In recognition of illustrious services rendered towards cementing defence collaboration between Pakistan and Bahrain, the President of Islamic Republic of Pakistan has been pleased to confer the award of Nishani Imtiaz Military upon General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, Commander of Bahrain National Guard, Kingdom of Bahrain. Now I request General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salam Al Khalifa to please come on the stage and receive the award of Tishani Imtiaz Military from the President of Islamic Republic of Pakistan. For his part, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa expressed his appreciation to the leaders in the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and thanked the Pakistani President and the brotherly Pakistani people. The Commander of the National Guard, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, is currently on an official visit to Pakistan at the invitation of Commander of the Pakistani Army, General Asim Munir, to participate as a guest of honour in the celebrations of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan on Pakistan Day, which falls on March the 23rd of every year. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the Bahraini Youth Day represents an important national occasion in the march of the Kingdom of Bahrain, as it evokes the important role that Bahraini youth play in shaping the future of Bahrain, and it is also an occasion to highlight the great capabilities and skills. Marking the occasion of Bahraini Youth Day, which falls on the 25th of March, His Highness said that the youth of the Kingdom have proven their worth with the achievements they have achieved, that have consolidated their position and reinforced the bet on their awareness. His Highness said that the Kingdom of Bahrain is experiencing great and remarkable prosperity in all its sectors, thanks to the care and support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for the Bahraini youth and His Majesty's belief in the role of the youth in building the future of Bahrain, in addition to the Bahraini youth's response to the call of the heart and mind launched by His Majesty which contributed to motivating young people to be active models in society. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that the programmes and initiatives offered to youth have achieved a remarkable qualitative leap in all the contents, ideas and message, thanks to the youth empowerment strategy developed by the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Among the priorities of the government's work programme and the introduction of initiatives that promote youth, their skills, capabilities and projects to contribute to the success of national projects in various fields. His Majesty continued to say that the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports has set its future policies aimed at empowering youth, advancing their projects, supporting them and instilling hope in them to build a comprehensive and promising future for youth by securing an attractive environment for youth to present their energies, creativity and ideas and work to empower Bahraini youth and arm them with knowledge. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa stated that the youth achievements made by the Kingdom's youth came in accordance with the great support provided to them and that they were the best ambassadors of the Kingdom of Bahrain in various forums as their initiatives and projects have contributed to supporting various sectors in addition to being an integral part in the implementation of national projects that contribute to shaping the future of Bahrain. His Highness concluded by saying that all the achievements of the Bahraini youth are appreciated by us and we are proud of them 
calling upon all our Bahraini youth to integrate, unite and invest their energies to contribute to the rapid growth of various sectors, especially the vital ones. His Highness also affirmed determination to move forward in caring for Bahraini youth and stand by their side, meeting their needs, supporting their projects and working to empower Bahraini youth so that they can assume their true position and achieve Bahrain's hopes and aspirations for building, growth and hope for the Kingdom of Bahrain. في مجلس الاعلى الشباب الرياضه نتكلم عن شقين. الشق الاول طال عمرك ان احنا نجعل من الرياضه صناعه وننمي الاقتصاد المحلي وندعم الشباب والشابات. والشق الثاني طول العمر احنا نخلق البيئه والمناخ المناسب سيف سين سبورتد. يجب على الشاب والشابه طال عمرك يحسون بهذا الاحساس هذا. يجب ان احنا نخلق لهم البيئه. لازم نعدل كثير من الاجراءات، لازم نخلي الواحد طول العمر منطلق ب شغفه وحبه وهوايته اللي هو يحبها. احنا نريد مملكه البحرين تكون فعلا مو بس مسمى عاصمه وملتقى ومضرب مثل للشباب الرياضه في دول العالم ككل. اللي الحرص اللي احنا فيه هو البحرين. لا يمكن لا يمكن نجن حرب كبرى اللي بيشكك في بحريني او بحرينيه او في مملكه البحرين. اللي بيشكك في قدراته وفي انجازه وفي تعب هالبلد هذا اللي يستاهل الخير ابدا ما نرضى انتوا راح توصلون ما في شخص ما راح يوصل وانا اعدكم باذن الله ان العالم العربي والامه العربيه راح تصل ايضا الى العالميه دام قادتنا موجودين على راس هذه المسيره The Kingdom of Bahrain today celebrates the Bahraini Youth Day in its second edition, which came based on the decision of the Cabinet to choose the 25th of March of each year as a day for Bahraini youth. This is out of gratitude and appreciation for the contributions and creativity of the country's youth and the role in the renaissance and development the Kingdom is witnessing in various sectors. Celebrating Bahraini Youth Day is an important occasion to renew pride in the contributions of the youth sector, as it bears many indications regarding the status and interest enjoyed by youth in the Kingdom. It reflects the distinguished status and interest enjoyed by the youth in the Kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King, who believes in the importance of youth in the development and building of the country, as they are the real wealth in the present and the future. The Bahraini Youth Day represents an opportunity to celebrate the fruits of the unique Bahraini experience in developing and nurturing young people to be an active and influential element in the system of renaissance and prosperity. The Bahraini youth movement has made remarkable achievements across all fields, which is attributed to the visions and directives of His Majesty the King and his unlimited care and support. More in this report. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa confer unlimited care and support to the youth, which is reflected on his speeches that always focus on the youth and highlight their effective role in building societies. His Majesty's deep belief in the energies and capabilities of the youth and their competence to bring about positive change and achieve the sustainable development goals has contributed to attaining many successes for the youth sector, as well as enhancing their contribution to the development march of Bahrain. The King Hamad Youth Empowerment Award comes as an expression of the firm faith of His Majesty and the young people's potential to lead their countries and the world towards a better shared future of peace and prosperity for all people on a healthy and renewable planet. Bahraini youth have proven to be the engine of the development process and the purpose of development at various levels through their competence and ability to assume national responsibility and their notable contributions to the development renaissance that the kingdom is witnessing. Speaker Ahmed bin Salman al Musalam praised the role of the youth as the cornerstone of development and the pillar of the future in the kingdom of Bahrain. In a statement marking Bahrain Youth Day, annually observed on March the 25th, he said that supporting youth and achieving their hopes and aspirations represent a collective national responsibility. 
The Speaker prays the care of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to Bahraini youth to hold leading positions and including all development fields. He also commended the efforts made by His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work in youth and fair and the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the SCYS, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the first Deputy Chairman, a General Sports Authority Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh praised the royal care of His Majesty the King to youth competences, which represent the cornerstone of national development and progress. In a statement marking Bahrain Youth Day, he said that the royal support to youth competences has expanded national potential and contributed to spearheading Bahrain's development, progress and prosperity. He hailed the programmes and initiatives implemented by the government, chaired by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to empower and support youth efforts as part of Team Bahrain. He commended the efforts made by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, noting the role played by youth and sports centres and clubs in tapping in youth talents. In related news, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Ayman bin Tafik Al Moayed, stressed that the Bahraini Youth Day is an occasion in mentioning the achievements of the distinguished Bahraini youth, who are a model in achievement, innovation, and endeavour that increases the kingdom's achievements and builds the future. Al Moayed appreciated the generous patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work in youth affairs. President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for the youth and sports sectors, praising the role for the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Secretary General stated that the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports directs its efforts to work according to the directors of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in line with the visions of His Majesty the King and the aspirations of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He appreciated the continued follow-up of His Highness to activate the general policies adopted by the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports to strengthen the achievement motives of young people for a generation that is socially responsible and enjoys decent mental and physical health. Youth Affairs Minister Rawan bint Najib Tafiki congratulated Bahraini youth on the occasion marked in recognition of their giving and patriotic efforts out of their strong belief in their pivotal role in enhancing the Kingdom's progress and glory as well as ensuring it a better future. She indicated that the Bahrain Youth Day provides an opportunity to highlight the landmark achievements attained by youth at all levels to shed light on the Kingdom's pioneering youth model. She affirmed His Majesty the King's constant interest in Bahraini youth, citing His Majesty's numerous meetings with them and her assertion in speeches that they are the Kingdom's inexhaustible wealth, contributing to motivating them to play their national role to the fullest. She asserted that the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, attaches great importance to Bahraini youth among its priorities, citing the government's keenness to harness all its capabilities to them to enable them to assume their responsibilities in building the nation. She indicated that the encouragement of the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad to the youth sector. The minister announced the launch of the Ambassadors of Bahraini Youth Programme.